Recently, I was asked how to use glyphs in Cricut Design Space when using your iPad. So today I'm going to show you that and I'm also going to show you how to upload new fonts to your iPad. So thank you, Lori, very much for asking that question. If you're new here, my name is Nisha. Welcome to Little Craft Nest. And if you're interested in crafting and Cricut tutorials, be sure to hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss a video. So go over and grab your iPad. You may also want to grab a pen and paper to take notes because there are quite a few steps or you can do it alongside me and just pause the video as needed. Before we can begin to download fonts to our iPad, we need to first have a few apps downloaded. The first one is Files. Now Files should have been pre-installed with your iPad, but if for some reason you don't have it, head over to the App Store and download the app Files. This is going to be the place where your downloaded fonts get stored. The next app you're going to download is called iFont. iFont is a free app and this app is going to allow us to download our fonts. Now, if you're interested in using the special characters and glyphs that often come with fonts, you will also need the app called Unicode. The Unicode app costs $1.39 Canadian, which means it's probably about a dollar American, but it's well worth the money because you will use this often, especially if you use your iPad a lot and love to use special character glyphs. To demonstrate our fonts being used, I will be using the Cricut Design Space app but you can use whatever design app you want. I just happen to use Cricut a whole lot more than anything else. So once all those apps are downloaded, we can now go find a font that we wanna to download to our iPad. I'm going to grab a font from Font Bundles, but you can get your fonts from whatever site that you like to use. I like Font Bundles because all the fonts come with a commercial license, and there are a lot of fun ones that also come with glyphs and special characters. So I'm going to click on free fonts and just scroll through them until I find one that I want. Let's do this one here called Roll Cake. It looks like it does have some fun glyphs that we can play around with. So you're just going to click on download and then download again. And then you're going to click on the circle at the top right of your screen with the arrow pointing down and click on Roll Cake. And you'll notice that our file has been downloaded to our files app on our iPad. Now you're going to open up the app iFont. And on the left hand side, we're going to scroll down and we're going to click on find fonts to install. And then you're going to click open files. And here's all the files that I recently downloaded to my iPad. And it's the first one here that says roll cake. Click on that and it's just showing us the font here and we can click on import. And then if we scroll back up to the top, you can see roll cakes right here and we're going to click on install right beside it, click allow and then close. And now we're going to click on open settings and right underneath your Apple ID name, you'll see something that says profile download. You can click on that and you'll see roll cake regular there and press the blue words at the top right that say install. And then you're going to have to put your passcode for your iPad in. And then you're going to press install again, install once more, and then you can click on done. Now we can go over back to iFont and it says our font has been installed. And then we can just press done and close that. Now we can go over to Cricut Design Space. So open up that app. And we'll open up a new project and let's add some text. So I'm clicking on text and then I'm going to click on system because it'll be a system font that we uploaded. And I'm going to type in rule and there's our font right there, rule cake. Click on that. And now we can type in something. So I'm just going to type little craft nest. And there is our rule cake font. So let's go out of here again and let's go back to iFont. And if you go to the bottom of your screen, you can click on installed and you can search for your rule cake font. And then you can click on glyphs. And these are all the characters that this font has. Now, if I want to use this T here with the fancy little tail to put at the end of Little Craft Nest, I can go ahead and press copy. However, when I go back into Design Space, 
I cannot paste this in here. You'll notice my paste button at the top left of the keyboard is grayed out, so I can't use it. And that is why we need to use our Unicode app. So go ahead and open Unicode, click on Browse Fonts, and then you can go ahead and search for our Roll Cake font. And it's right there, go ahead and click on it. And now we have our character map here of all our characters. Now I can go back and find that T that I wanted. I'm going to click on it. And then at the top right of your screen, you'll see a little green square with an arrow in it. Click on that. And you're going to click Share Glyph. And then click on Copy. And now we can go back into Design Space. Let's go over to our text. I'm going to delete that T at the end. And then I'm going to click on the paste button. And there is our new T. Now this T looks like it's a little detached from the rest of our word. So you can always go in and ungroup the text. And then we can just grab our T and slide it over. And then you can select everything and press weld. And now we have our text with a fancy little tail at the end. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, leave them down below in the comments and I hope to see you on more crafting adventures.